So, you're sitting there, staring at your screen, wondering, which operating system actually fits life this year? Windows, Mac OS, or Linux? They all look great, but which one really works when it counts? In this video, we're going deep. How each OS feels to use, what it does best, and where it might let you down. This is the guide that'll help you pick your best one. Let's get started. Now, one of the first things we notice about any operating system is the way it looks, right? Windows 11 really polished that up. It went for a cleaner look, icons are sharper, things are centered, and the whole vibe feels more put together than before. If you're used to older versions like Windows 10, this one might throw you off for a second. The start button is no longer tucked in the corner. It's centered now. It feels a bit like Mac OS at first, but we can move it back to the left if we want. The design uses rounded corners on Windows, semi-transparent textures called Mika, and light or dark modes that actually feel finished. Compared to Mac OS, which has always been pretty in its own way, Windows now keeps up. And when you put it side by side with Linux, especially something like Ubuntu, you see that Windows has this very polished professional look without feeling too tech heavy. Now, one place where Windows really steps up is how it handles multitasking. Snap layouts, for example, let you arrange windows however you want. Two on the left, one tall on the right, maybe three side by side. So first off, work. If you're using your system for documents, emails, spreadsheets, or creative tools, all three options have something to offer. Windows has Microsoft Office, of course. Word, Excel, PowerPoint, the classics. It also now has AI baked in with Copilot. You can get help writing emails, summarizing reports, or even building presentations with just a few prompts. Snap layouts make multitasking super easy. Drag windows to the side, top, or corners, and they snap into the perfect place. You can even set up multiple virtual desktops with different wallpapers for each task. Mac OS Sequoia also leans hard into productivity, just in a more subtle way. It integrates beautifully with Apple's ecosystem. If you've got an iPhone or iPad, you can copy something on your phone and paste it right onto your Mac. And the new Sequoia update brings even tighter integration with apps like Freeform and Pages, and it now supports Stage Manager to organize windows by task. It's not quite as flexible as Snap Layouts, but it works if you're focused on one thing at a time. On the Linux side, you've got LibreOffice or alternatives like OnlyOffice or Google Docs. You don't get Copilot or some of those AI helpers, but you do get full control over your workflow. Linux is great for developers, writers, or researchers who want a distraction-free space that's fully theirs. So if you like plug and play with tools already ready, Windows or Mac OS wins. If you want to build your own flow from scratch, Linux gives you that space. Now, let's talk about AI. This year, this stuff is everywhere now. Windows has gone big with Copilot. You can ask it to summarize a PDF help draft a job application, or even generate images in Paint with CoCreator. It's built right into the system, and if you've got a Copilot Plus PC, a lot of it runs locally. No internet needed. There's even a recall feature that lets you scroll back through what you've done, like a timeline of your screen. Mac OS Sequoia isn't sitting back either. Apple's added new generative AI under the hood. It works mostly through Spotlight and Siri, helping you rewrite emails, find documents, and even improve photos. It's more privacy-focused, most of it runs on device, but it's not as out in the open as Copilot. Linux, well, it's still catching up here. You can install third-party AI tools, run models locally, or use online services. But out of the box, there's no Copilot or built-in AI. That's by design. 
Linux respects privacy, and many distros avoid including stuff that sends your data around. But if you want AI, it's totally doable. You just have to build it yourself. Let's not forget, some of us just want a game. Windows still rules here. Every major title runs natively, whether it's through Steam, Epic, or Game Pass. It supports direct storage for fast load times and auto HDR for better visuals. Game mode reduces background tasks while you play. And the Xbox app gives you access to cloud gaming if you're short on space. Mac OS, on the other hand, is getting better. Apple's Game Porting Toolkit now helps developers bring games to Mac, and some high-end titles are arriving faster. But still, many games are missing. And performance isn't always great unless you've got a high-end Mac with Apple Silicon. Linux is the surprise contender here. Thanks to Proton and Steam Deck's success, thousands of Windows games now run on Linux. It's not perfect. Some games break or need tweaks. But for many users, the experience is playable. You won't get Game Pass or every new title instantly, but for indie games and Steam, it's solid. Let's shift gears to something that matters way more now. Phones. Mac OS Sequoia is still the best in this space. If you use an iPhone, everything syncs. Messages, calls, AirDrop, Safari tabs. You get the full ecosystem experience, but only if you're all in with Apple. Windows has caught up big time. With the Phone Link app, Android users can send texts, make calls, get notifications, and even run mobile apps right from their PC. It's surprisingly smooth. iPhone users can now get messages and calls too, though it's more limited. Still, Microsoft is closing the gap. Linux once again is flexible. If you install KDE Connect or GS Connect, you can sync notifications, send files, and even control media playback from your phone. But it takes a little setup it's not built in, you have to go get it. But it works once it's ready. So if mobile connection matters to you, Mac OS wins for iPhone users, Windows wins for Android. Linux can do both, but it takes more effort. So at the end of the day, the best operating system this year, if you're gaming, working with AI, or using tons of apps, Windows is ready to go. If you're deep in the Apple world, care about simplicity, and just want things to click, Mac OS Sequoia feels right. And if you want to build your own world from the ground up, Linux gives you the keys. There's no perfect OS for everyone, but once you know how each one fits into life, choosing becomes a whole lot easier.